When people think of professional wrestling, there is one name that always comes to mind. Even people who have never watched wrestling before, or as Vince McMahon prefers to call it, sports entertainment, people who have never watched the product, they can still tell you all about Hulk Hogan. We are, what, 20, maybe 30 years past his prime, and Hulk Hogan, he is still the name that people think of when you mention professional wrestling. During the 1980s, Hulk Hogan, he became a global icon with a gimmick that was built around taking your vitamins and saying your prayers. He was this larger-than-life patriotic hero. Hell, his entrance music was called Real American. You fast forward 10 years later to the mid-90s, the inevitable happens. This is something that always happens when your career is based on a gimmick. That gimmick that was so successful, the gimmick that made you millions and millions of dollars, that gimmick eventually becomes stale. Now, fortunately for Hulk Hogan, he was flexible, he was creative, he was able to adapt and change with the times. He eventually becomes Hollywood Hogan, he trades in the red and yellow for the black and white, he becomes a heel for the first time in his mainstream career. Even the most popular gimmicks eventually become stale. Now, some people are able to adapt, some are able to change, and then there's the others. The people who lack the talent, the people who lack the creativity. Unfortunately for Colin Kaepernick, he is one of the others. Back in 2016, Colin Kaepernick, he came to the harsh realization that his NFL career was rapidly coming to an end. So he decided to make a transition. He trades in his helmet for a set of knee pads, starts kneeling for the national anthem. He changed his name from Colin to Colleen and began attending services at Woke United Methodist. He became what the deacons like to call a brother. He built his mainstream career based on the gimmick of being the ultimate victim. He was blackballed from the NFL. Victim. He compared the NFL to modern day slavery. Victim. He started calling himself a political activist who complained about mythical police brutality. Victim. For a while, the gimmick worked. Colleen was generating millions and millions of dollars. He was receiving endorsement deals from sympathetic woke corporations. He received a book deal. Just think about that. A guy who can barely read was given six figures to write a book. He wrote books that were aimed towards kids where he outlined the trauma that he experienced growing up in an upper middle class home with two loving parents. Oh, it was so traumatizing, kids. I was loved by my mother. My father taught me how to play sports. I went to private school. I lived in the suburbs. Oh, I'm so hurt. You know, sometimes I wonder if this gimmick was inspired by Papa Doc in that movie, Eight Mile. Papa Doc was the antagonist in that movie. He was portraying this gangster image. He was pretending like he was from the hood. And then you find out that his real name is Clarence. He grew up in a loving home with both parents and went to private school. Huh. Sounds a lot like Colin Kaepernick. Right now, I would imagine that Colin, or Cap as his pretend friends like to call him, I would imagine that Cap is going through a bit of a period of deja vu. Back in 2016, he realized his career in the NFL was coming to an end. Fast forward seven years later, he's coming to the realization that his gimmick as the ultimate victim is also coming to an end. Last month, when the New York Jets lost Aaron Rodgers for the season, Colleen, he sent a letter to the Jets' front office begging them, begging them to be Aaron Rodgers' replacement. When the Jets ultimately rejected his advances by telling Colin Kaepernick to fuck off, the ultimate capper, he leaks the letter to the mainstream media. He was looking for sympathy. He was looking for support. He was looking for validation. He was looking for attention. He wanted the American public to know that I'm still relevant. I still matter. There was just one problem, one tiny little problem. Us normal people, we have been ignoring Colin Kaepernick for the past six or seven years. But he could always rely on his pretend friends in the mainstream media. But last month, after his latest fake attempt to get back into the NFL, his pretend friends in the mainstream media, they officially moved on. The media is no longer covering Colin Kaepernick. The media is no longer paying attention to his every move. And you don't have to take my word for it. KC always comes with the proof. Two days ago, Nike, they released their newest line of apparel. Who is the face of this new line? Who is their brand ambassador? Captain Shitfuck. Over the past few years, Nike has made a lot of dumb decisions, but this decision might be the dumbest. 
Since the disaster between Bud Light and Bob Dylan Mulvaney, these major corporations, they have started distancing themselves from Woke United Methodist. Bud Light right now, they're sending a virtue signal to normal people by sponsoring UFC. Target, they used to display their pride by putting Chad Thundercock in a tuck-friendly bathing suit, having him model this garbage at the front of the store so all the little kids can be inspired by his disguised cucumber. But after immense backlash from parents, Target fired the Thundercock. They hid their pride displays in the back corner of the store right next to the row of garbage cans where it belongs. We are starting to see these major corporations a bit more a bit more hesitant to display their love of Wiener. Except, of course, Nike. For Nike, it's woke business as usual. They are not renouncing their woke faith. They're not backing down. When Nike was baptized and born again, they took that oath seriously. Nike is woke for life. With the release of their latest line of garbage, Nike, they wanted to promote this new line of exciting clothing. They wanted to explain why they were using Colin Kaepernick as their brand ambassador. According to Nike, this decision was made because Colin Kaepernick is a man of the people. Um, what? Excuse me? Colin Kaepernick is um, a man of the people? Um, what people? Who does he represent? Someone please explain to me how a man who claims to be the ultimate victim is the man of the people. Last I checked, Americans don't celebrate victims, we celebrate survivors. Luckily, though, Nike explained it for us. Colin proved his devotion to social change through sports education and equality. Oh, equality. I love equality. Colin is inviting everyone to join his push towards an equitable future. Um, what does that mean? What does an equitable future look like? Have you guys ever noticed the shit fucks never define an equitable future? If you want to know what an equitable society looks like, go visit Venezuela. The people of Venezuela, they bit into the equity sandwich. Unfortunately for them, it was the last sandwich they would ever eat. Now, equity has them starving. People in Venezuela are so hungry, they are chasing fucking cows down the street hoping to get a bite of the hoof. In their statement, Nike also described Colin Kaepernick as an NFL free agent. Um, if this dude is an NFL free agent, so am I. Rachel Levine has a better chance of being named the sexiest woman on the planet than Colin Kaepernick does of making an NFL roster. Like I said, Nike, they released this new line of garbage two days ago. Now, a couple of years ago... This would have been one of the leading stories throughout the mainstream media. Jamel Hill would have written articles praising her brother and woke for his courage and bravery. This release would have inspired Joy Reid to change her weave. ESPN would lead off Sports Center with the biggest story of the day. Colin Kaepernick collaborates with Nike to design a new line of expensive garbage. Star Trek virgin Mike Freeman at USA Today, he would take a break from seducing the stormtroopers to praise Colin Kaepernick for inspiring change. Hope and change, yes we can, spank that winker! Guess how many mainstream media outlets picked up this story? Just take a wild guess. <laughs> One, Woke Illustrated. And I don't even know if we can include Woke Illustrated in the mainstream media anymore because no one reads it. It's kind of hard to subscribe to Sports Illustrated when they're putting the Lizzo in their swimsuit edition. Ooh, look at those rolls on Shamu. Pass the butter. I know some of you guys are wondering what this amazing fashion looks like from Colin Kaepernick and Nike. Check it out for yourself. Look at this amazing design. It looks like it was designed by a blind kid using Microsoft Paint. Since Colin Kaepernick is a man of the people, he wanted to set a price point that guaranteed that most people who support him would not be able to afford it. For the low price of $50, this is what you're receiving from Nike and Colin Kaepernick. Look at that poor kid's face. This kid was probably excited he just got his first modeling job, and he has a face that says, why are you making me wear this? I know I am not an expert in fashion, but there is absolutely no way you can lead me to believe that this garbage is considered fashionable. I'm going to go ahead and predict 
This collaboration between Nike and Colin Kaepernick, it is going to end in huge embarrassing failure. This dude is no longer influential. He doesn't have the same appeal that he had three or four years ago. The gimmick is stale. Not only did the gimmick become stale, the foundation of this gimmick, it was proven to be a myth. Colin Kaepernick laid the foundation of his post-NFL career on being a victim of mythical racism. Once it was proven that the racism he was talking about didn't exist, the gimmick was over. And unlike Hulk Hogan, Colin Kaepernick, he doesn't have the creativity to adapt. Maybe he'll get lucky. Maybe Nike will be able to move some of this garbage. Perhaps Colin can rally his dwindling supporters and convince them to capture their reparations by looting the stores who are dumb enough to carry this trash. I read through some of the comments on Instagram. The vast majority of them overwhelmingly negative towards Colin Kaepernick. It's over. It's over. The free ride is done. The sympathy train has turned into the bruised caboose. Colin Kaepernick, he is coming to the harsh realization that he is no longer relevant. But give me your thoughts on this. Colin Kaepernick collaborates with Nike to release some of the ugliest clothing I have ever seen. Do you think his career is over? Has the gimmick become stale? Does Nike actually lose money on this new line of apparel sponsored by Colin Kaepernick. You let me know. Sound off in the comments below. Like, subscribe, share the video. I appreciate your support. Best way to contact me is by email at btlkc84 at gmail.com. KC underscore BTL84 on Twitter. I'll see you guys tomorrow.